Hey guys, what's up? So right now my hair is looking a little bit different right now because I'm wearing the Lydia wig by Outro and I've probably been wearing this wig for probably like a week now so I kind of feel like I know a lot about it and I gotta say for wearing it for a week and really putting it through the ringer like I really did like the best I could or not the best I could but I did yeah I really did the best I could to kind of um really put it through the ringer and see like how much I can test it what's gonna happen with it I can say honestly that I really really do like this wig and I do think it's a pretty great wig to get I know that some people don't like watching the full review for kind of wigs because sometimes they can be lengthy so I'm gonna pretty much short short and give like a summary version of what I think of the wig I think this is a great party wig I think this is a great weekend wig um, partially because of the color but partially because like um, the ends do um, get a little bit tangled and that can be really frustrating and um, it does shed a little bit. If your hair doesn't shed, then I would probably think there's something really weird about it because all hair sheds. Natural hair sheds, weave hair sheds, wig hair sheds, it all sheds. Um, it doesn't shed that bad, but it's just like when it gets tangled um, and then it sheds, it kind of, uh, it just it looks a little tangled. But that's why I would say it's a good, great weekend wig. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because it does kind of have a little bit of upkeep to it, but it's a really great wig. I really like it. It's soft to the touch. It looks really great, you know. Yeah. So if you want to, like, finish watching the review, please do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So, yeah. Let go. So I've had this wig for, like I said, about a week now, and I've been really putting it through the ringer. The first day I got it, which was on a Monday, um, I just played around with it and I styled it. Here's a picture of me looking like a blonde bombshell. And I was really feeling myself with a wig. And then 7-Eleven by Beyonce came out and I was like, oh girl, like, y'all so understand. But the wig was really great. And it's really fun to like just flip around and stuff. But focusing on the interview, I kind of want to talk like top to bottom this hair and do the pros and cons right next to each other. I feel like sometimes when people do pros and cons, um, and they say all the pros first or all the cons first, it just it doesn't kind of add up, if you know what I mean? So, just doing it top to bottom. So, when you get the wig, when you first pull it out the box, um, it doesn't really have a smell to it, I don't think. I think it kind of smells like packaging, but that's about it. Um, it doesn't have a smell to it. It looks really curly and shiny when you first get it, but I feel like after you kind of open it up, shake it out a bit, I feel like the dullness goes down a little bit. It does look a little bit shiny on camera, I think, but I mean, it's going, uh, the shine's going away. And if you feel like you need it to be kind of more matted out immediately, I'd say if you have a translucent powder, even really pushing it at baby powder, I wouldn't suggest baby powder, but like if you needed something in a quick moment, maybe like a baby powder would work if you wanted to kind of dull the shine. Um, the first thing I noticed was, oh my god, the color of this wig was and is amazing. Like, I cannot get over how amazing this color is. I think it's a really good dupe for the, um, Sierra wigs, like the Divas ones, because those are $300. Ah. Oh, let me take a moment. <laughs> See, I still need to eat and pay bills, so I couldn't afford a $300 wig right now. And I kind of wanted just something to change up the look. And with the holidays coming, I mean, this is the perfect wig for New Year's. If you're not wearing it on New Year's, hey, it's cool. We can all look different. And, I mean, I'm going to look great like Beyonce, you know. Don't drop that alcohol, but, yeah. So, um, the wig is really great. It's, uh, it's great coloring. And I'll talk about the coloring a little bit later, but just impeccable coloring. So when I first got it, the lace that was right here... Um, it was basically my skin color, my skin tone color, which was really great because I was like, yes. But the dome of it's a little bit tight, and um, I don't really see that as a problem necessarily because it's, yeah, it's a little bit tighter, but I also use the elastics, and if you want to make it feel a little bit looser, you can just pin it down. But at the same time, like, wigs are supposed to be really snug on you, and they're not supposed to go anywhere, so you can, like... You know, move your hair around and you don't have to worry about it coming off. And I was wearing lipstick and so this was not a good idea. Oh my god, it's amazing. I really do like that it's snug because, you know, I don't have to put too many pins in it. Um, it comes with four combs, three of which I actually use. The two temples right here and the one in the back back here. 
The one up top I don't really use, but I think it'd be a good idea if you are skilled, keyword being skilled, um, to take it apart, like it's just sewn on, so you could take it off and then put it like right above the other comb in the back. I think that would be a better place for it, but I mean, it's still like an extra comb kind of, and I think it's great that they kind of gave you an extra comb. So uh, there's that. And the lace, even though it was really awesome that it came really close to my color, it's a little bit itchy. And um, since it was like my first lace run, I did what a lot of other YouTubers do, I've seen. And I just cut right across the hairline, which I feel like does actually give it a pretty natural look. If you want to leave the lace out, again, it's really close to your skin tone. Uh, it was like close to my skin tone. And if you're tan, I wouldn't worry. Um, if you're darker, I wouldn't worry. I would just worry if you're kind of like on the lighter side. So if you're white and you're not tan, then it probably won't match. But I feel like it's so racially ambiguous with the color that I got that honestly, it'll match pretty well for almost anybody. Um, the next is the hair. So I've worn a lot of human hair and I can tell the difference pretty easily. It feels not necessarily synthetic y because when I feel I felt synthetic hair, I felt like I was running my hands through Barbie's hair. But it's like a, it's a lot softer than it, but it doesn't feel like human hair, so it's like a good and a bad. I mean, it is a synthetic wig, so you kind of get what you paid for for that. But the hair, again, the color, so, how is this going? I don't know. I didn't pl pluck out the part because I flip my hair around a lot, and I put my fingers through my hair, as you guys have seen in the video, um, a lot of the time. And I just, I can't do the part because I'll get the concealer all over my hands and all that stuff. Um... And it's a personal preference. It'd probably be easy for you to pull the stuff. Pluck the words. But, um, it's pretty easy. God, what was it just saying? Oh, yeah, the color. So, the color, it has like a really, really dark root. And then it goes to like a brownish red root. Um, and then it goes to like an ash brown. And then it fades pretty well into the blonde. Blonde. And in the blonde, and you kind of can't see it. Which really sucks you can't see it on camera, but I feel like you can probably see it in person. It has like really, it has like a kind of like tri-dimensional look to it. So it has like a soft honey blonde, kind of. It's like, it's a little bit darker than honey blonde, but it's a really soft color still. And then it has the majority blonde that I think you can kind of see that's like a really soft pale yellow blonde. And then it has like little bits of white strands. So I really, really like that too, because it just, it looks really, really good in real life. The one thing I will complain about is that it does kind of get frizzy if you move around in it too, too much. And then because it gets frizzy, it's a little bit tangled, and then that's again why I wouldn't wear it every day. It'd be great for a club if you're going to go to, like, I'm not saying like a dimly lit club, but like just where you kind of can't see it get a little bit frizzy, basically. Um, and what else? I haven't actually put heat on it because I don't want to put heat on it, that's just it. Um, I know that it goes up to about 350-400 and I think that's really good for heat wise, but again, I just didn't want to. The things that I will tell you to make sure that this wig lasts long, do not use a normal comb. Don't. Like, use a comb that has like really wide teeth to it, so a wide tooth comb. Um, a detangling comb is pretty good. Do not use a paddle brush. This is where I feel like a lot of girls get their shedding from. I used a paddle brush on it just to kind of like really quickly flatten some of the curls out. Not only did it flatten out, it just almost took all of the curls up, not even mine. Um, and it just pulls your hair out, so I wouldn't suggest doing that. And the last thing, if you want like big voluminous curls, because this is a little bit on the thin side, um, I would suggest what you would do is just take some flexi rods. Flex it on up and then leave it over in um, hot hot water treatment and then either leave it for like 30-40 minutes till it's dry or just leave it overnight. And then when you undo it, just shake it out beforehand a little bit. Just really lightly shake it out like a good three shakes and then put it on. I do that and I kind of like the outcome of it. So, you know, if it does get too matted at the ends, which it shouldn't, I had one tiny section on this one I think that got a little too matted and I just cut it off and that was it like it was brand spanking like new again again I really do like the wig I really think it's a great one I think I think I said it before I think it's pretty much a dupe for the C era or the Beyonce wigs that I've seen 
that are kind of popular right now. It is a really great wig. It's a party wig. If you're wearing it, you're gonna probably be like the center of attention though. You're just gonna have to get used to people being like, damn, she look good though. Hey, okay, I'm not gonna make that face anymore. But yeah, so I really do like the hair. I just, oh, I almost forgot <laughs> this part. The lace, the lace is about this much for like, you know, just making it look natural. And then the parting, you probably have like an inch and a half to two inches of uh, parting space, which is pretty good. You can flip it pretty much any which way, so this way. It's kind of like, this one's like an side middle part. And then, let's see. I don't, I don't have a mirror in front of me, so you guys gotta work with me. Okay, this is as good as this middle part's gonna get right now. But then you can switch it to this right here. And then, you can kind of flip it over to this right here, you know, whatever you want to do, and I feel like it makes it look really still pretty natural. Oh, and the last thing, down here is where it's all blonde, so you gotta worry about that whenever, you know, you're trying to put it up pretty much, but that's about it, yeah. If you guys follow me on Insta and on Tumblr, then you'll get to see pictures of me rocking it. I'm probably gonna cut it to like a bob length, like a long bob to right about here. So yeah, just follow me and let's keep updated and stuff. Yeah, so if you like this video, like and subscribe to it. Just click it and clack all of the things. And if this hair would just stay up, <laughs> stay out of my face, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. But yeah, if you guys liked it, just like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Why do I do this? Why can't I think of something cooler to do when I'm saying bye? Oh yeah.